Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, you will see how we can create a bootable drive of latest Microsoft OS Windows 11. And uh, even if you watch this video after one year, you will always know how to create the bootable drive of latest OS build. So without wasting further more time, let's get started. So before I switch on to my PC, I will connect this USB drive to my system because this process I may not able to show you after I switch uh, my screen on. I'm just connecting it to, to my USB. And believe me guys, this process is pretty simple. So let's get started. And now we are inside our system and now I will open Google Chrome browser. You can use Microsoft Edge as well. It totally depends on uh, which browser you prefer. Now here I will type Windows 11 ISO download or maybe Windows 11 download. Please make sure that you have enough data available to with your internet plan because this may download about 4 to 5 gigabyte of data from internet. Now let's click here on download Windows 11. And don't worry guys, I will also provide the download link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this link. Now we can click here on Windows 11. And here we have got a various method of downloading Windows 11. The best way of having Windows 11 is by creating Windows 11 installation media. You do not need to worry about how we can create a bootable pen drive because it will going to do everything for you. So just click here on download now and before you start you can read about the basic requirement of Windows 11. I believe every PC or motherboard which came after 2018 will have all the capability and functionality to install Windows 11. The only requirement which some PC do not match is to have a TPM issue. You can also check the video related to TPM here on the upper right corner which I am going to attach here so that you can enable the TPM setting inside your system. Now we will go down and we will download the setup. After that, we will click on open and now run it. Now here we can see Windows installation setup has started. Accept the terms and condition. If you want to make any change, then you can uncheck this option and then you can change some setting from here. I just want to keep as it is so I will be checking this option. Now I will click on next. Now as I have already connected USB flash drive to my system. Now I will click next. Here the USB flash drive has been detected. Now before I flash my USB drive, please make sure to have uh, all the backup of your USB drive to a safe location because the next step will going to format the entire drive. After having backup of my USB flash drive, now I will be clicking on next. Now here we can see the setup has started downloading Windows 11 from internet. So based on your internet connection, it may take some time to download it. Actually, you do not need to worry about you can go outside or do whatever you want to because it will take some time and the entire process is automatic. So you do not need to do anything. Just go outside, make chill and come back after some time. A few moments later. Okay, now we can see the message from Windows 11 setup that our USB flash drive is ready. Now I will click on finish. Okay, now our flash drive is ready to uh, install Windows 11 to my brand new system. So now I will be just unplugging this and will connect it to my brand new system. Okay. Now I will connect this pen drive to this PC and it is quite easy actually. I just need to insert it. And now I will turn on this system and we will press delete button so that I can boot into my BIOS. From here, I need to uh, do few settings, especially applicable for Windows 11. Is first of all, we need to turn on our TPM. By default, uh, it may be turned off, 
so you can turn on the, uh, that particular setting make sure that your system is running in uefi mode not legacy in order to enable tpm settings specifically in this particular motherboard which is gigabyte 390 ud you require to go to setting and here in miscellaneous go inside and you can see this option which is intel platform trust technology click on it and enable it now press f10 and click yes just repeat the same steps again select the desired window click next now this time we will wait and we will see if the error will come or not and here we can see we didn't saw any kind of error this time i will select nvme drive as my boot drive and we'll click on new and apply now i will install my os now the installation of windows has begun now we need to restart our system while restarting the system log out your pen drive because still your pen drive is your boot priority one so after the system got restarted i can plug this pen drive again now here we can see our installation setup has started now here we can see we have to choose the correct country i am going to choose india as my country so you may choose your select the correct keyboard for you so i am going to choose english india now i would not like to add any additional keyboard right now i have to install some drivers so that my wifi could work so i can click on i don't have internet if you have you can simply sign in with your id and enjoy so currently i will be continuing it with a limited setup now here i can enter my name here you can give it a password if you want to but in this case would you like to have password or not leave it or have it let's leave it based on your requirement you can keep these settings turn on and off i'm just going to accept it and my windows installation is about to get completed a few moments later okay now you can see we have successfully installed our windows 11 to this pc so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye